All about kites. All about kites. Introduction. A kite is one of the oldest, simplest toys. People all around the world enjoy flying kites. Kites come in every size, shape, and color you can imagine. Did you know that kites are designed to be both toys and tools? Some kites are made to be art as well. History of kites. Kites were named after a bird with white wings that soars high in the sky on the crests. No one knows who made the first kite, but the first written story of kite. Flying kiting is over two thousand two hundred years old. In this story, the Chinese general Han Hsien used a kite to measure the distance how he had to tunnel under his enemy's wall. Chinese legends also describe two philosophers making kite making a kite that left one of them into into the air. There is a famous story about American diplo- diplomat, the inventor Ben Franklin. He used a kite to prove his idea that lightning was made of electric current. He tied a metal key to the kite string. Then he and his son flew the kite during a thunderstorm. Electricity from the storm clouds ran down and ran ran down the wet string to the metal key. When he reached tower the sky. He got a surprise. The electricity jumped from the sky and gave him a shock. Do not try this dangerous in ex- experiment yourself. When Ben Franklin tried it again, he was hurt badly. Many uses for kites. People sometimes use kites for fishing. They put a fish hook and bait on the long kite tail. Then he s- then they sail the kite far from shore. The kite tail dragged in the water. So the fish could see、uh, see the baits. It beat the bait and was caught, and then the kite was pulled in. Weather kites carried scientific instruments into the sky. They recorded wind speed and temperature high in the clouds. Years ago, some armies used kites with cameras attached to sky on enemy troops. Kites were also used as flying targets for shooting practice. These special kites, called turn and dodge bullets, imitating the movement of fighter fighter planes. Today, kites are used mostly for fun. There is a kite designed for everyone. You'll discover that different shapes of kites fly in different ways. Flat, diamond-shaped kites fly easily and smoothly. Rectangle box kites hang still in the air for a long time. Stunt kites twist and twirl in many strings. Large, powerful kites are like parachutes. Giant dragon kites flutter. Fighting kites can be used to cut other kites' strings. Make your own kite. You'll need two lightweight, smooth sticks, one thirty feet long, the other two feet. A large plastic trash bag. Cut open a long strip of lightweight cloth or plastic for the tail. Scissors, strong tape, a very long string. Step one: From form a cross shape with the sticks. Wrap tape around the sticks where they meet. Step two: Cut off a four foot pieces of string. Tape each end of the string to each end of the long stick. This string is called the bridle. Tie one end of the rest of the string to the middle of the bridle. Step three: Lay the cross on the open plastic bag. Cut a diamond shape around it. Make sure to cut the diamond shape wider than the ends of the sticks. Step four: Fold the corners of the diamond over the ends of the sticks. Tape the corners tightly to the sticks. Step four. A step five. For a tail, tape the strip strip of cloth or plastic to bottom of the plas a bottom of the kite. Kite safety. Remember to choose an open, safe place to fly your kite. Don't fly it near power lines. Keep it away from trees, roads, and airports. Don't fly a kite in the rain or when you hear thunder. Be sure nothing is on the ground to trip over.
On a breezy day, take your kite to flat, to a flat, open area. Be sure there were no power lines or big trees. Look at the ground around you. Is there anything you could trip over? Hold your kite up by the dreidel and run into the wind. Let's go of the kite and kite and your kite. Kite and slowly let out some string. Then you let out a little more until your your kite is flying high in the sky. Happy flying!